Dispatch 160, 76 Lace, 1031 Bravo, Invention Court. Um, did you notice they moved the taco truck, Barrett? They move it too. Um, Can't tell, but I I haven't seen that thing move in weeks, or hours. Same thing. I'll try to it federal hours. And I'm hearing a black around me. It was a four by four or four wheeler, so. What? No, here. What's the here livery on that four wheeler? Just... I pulled over a white camo styled earlier uh, by a trace smoke. The guy. Uh, it's in the back door. Mime had a knife, got closer. Uh, me. Uh, I defended. I'll down first, and I went down. from what to be for. Send it. Team, you take photos. Have you seen anybody suspicious? Uh, let's Copy. see. Just verify. Back. I think we're good. Clipping hands ready. Good. Okay, it looks like the guy in the four wheeler is is going out. Like pulling locals towards okay, him. So I'm um, epic. Quit. And then I'm running them. Then I'm going to connect. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Music time. Watch it not happen now.
Sick. Sick. <laughs> Why? Why does it now just suddenly work fine? It doesn't make sense. Oh, wait. Is it because I spawned here? Hold up. I have an idea. Okay, listen. I'm doing this for the purpose of... Hold on. I'm doing this for the sole purpose of... Uh... What's it called? I can't speak. Testing, okay. So I'm going to exit away from Mission Row. Connect. We're gonna see if it happens. Ugh. Because that literally never happens. I always have to double lock the garage door the first time. Yeah, the thing is, I don't want to accidentally leak anything. I don't want to like no clip through something and leak something. I, who knows? I don't want to be that guy. Won't be me. All right, roads on the apartments. I'm I'm giving you all context behind what I'm doing, okay? I am going to Mission Row. I'm zooming there. I've arrived. Okay. Now for context, see how it shows unlocked? This should lock it, but it doesn't. And I click it again and then it locks. Okay. So then we go over here. Oh, this one will operate fine, I guess. But can I get a clip of that? Hmm. On it, thank you. I will bug report right now. Slash bug. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat>
I mean, I, I'll put it, you know what? I'm going to copy this. I'm going to try it again, chat. I'm going to try it again. Do, 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 do. You know, I am going to test it again. Just in case, okay? Because you never know. In fact, what if I... Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump on Ryan, a not-cop character. I'm going to spawn at the apartments. I'm going to go to Mission Row and see if it's unlocked. Just to rule out if it's like a PD thing. Oh, Ryan is bald, by the way. Not actually, okay? But when they changed some of the clothing things around or whatever, Ryan ended up bald. Don't ask how or why. <laughs> uh, I saw that the other day. <laughs> I was laughing. Uh, I can't. Well, uh, I really want to play Ryan so bad. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, Mud, if you were watching, somebody literally just walked through the door because from their perspective, it was unlocked. Spawn at the apartments. All right, again, I'll give you context behind what I'm doing. Spawn at the apartments. All right. Wait, are we not bald? <laughs> and this is how people are getting into Mission Row. It's just unlocked. That's not actually unlocked, is the issue. That's why when that person tried getting out of this one, it didn't. And again, if I was... We're not see-through chat. <laughs> Listen, I just don't want people seeing me, okay? But nobody sees this door open but me. Watch. <laughs> I'll stay here until a cop rolls through. And they're going to stop here, and you're going you're gonna to hear them use their siren... Okay, I don't think anyone's coming. <laughs> and then this is how people make it into Mission Row. <laughs> like this this is what happens, chat. This is how people come into Mission Row. Uh, but people will say that the, the PD is just incompetent. It has nothing to do with the PD. We literally cannot prevent this, okay? Which is why I'm making sure it's bug reported. <clears throat> I don't know if it applies to these doors. I'm kind of curious, actually, to know. Like, if this is the first door I approach. Who knows? Oh, heard a car. So again, for context, this one is locked, okay? I'm 
I'm kind of curious. If I just respawn here, I wonder... Respawning. Hold up. No, Ryan's not dead. We're just in Viz because I literally just need to record something for a bug report. And I just want to make sure it's not specific to ED because I've technically only ever experienced that signed on duty. Um... The thing is, it, it's actually better that I show it from the Rhodes POV. I can show all of them, is the reality. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Hilted, thank you for the 17 months. Rich, thank you for the 59. I appreciate it. Orzer, thank Why? you for the 40 months. What I appreciate it. Happy birthday, 40 years old elephant now. And no, not me turning 40. I'm older. Well, nothing wrong with being over 40. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Last location. And just so that people don't randomly see me, the only thing I'm doing is going in Viz. See, it's locked, but I assume it to be because I spawn next to Mission Row. Are we bald? Oh, we have hair. We were bald the other day. I can't tell you how or why. All right, give me a second. Now I'm going to spawn on roads, and I'm going to go to Mission Row, but I'm not going to spawn at Mission Row. I'm going to spawn at the apartments. I'm going to go to Mission Row. What song is this? I've heard this. But anyways, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> oh, you know, I probably have to check if it's specific to just the garage doors. Or if it's all of them. Fuck. I'll give y'all a step-by-step. -step. Will this be on the test later? No, nah, there ain't no test. <laughs> Spawn. Apartments.
are locked. I don't know why. Yeah, somehow they're locked this time. You see this clip. Um... <clears throat> Then flip. <clears> hmm. <throat> Hmm. Alright, we're good. One thirty ten eight. Any actives? Uh, you were very quiet on radio. Currently, uh, first order code four, but also still uh, hello? code six thing. Should be fine. Uh, individual on foot robbed somebody. Uh, flat on foot. We've been looking around the beach area uh, for any evidence. We have found weed and rolled cash, and we suspect he could still be here, but it's been so long. Uh, probably not gonna look much longer. A firm. Can you speak on radio real quick? 130 radio check. 10 2, you're good. Oh, let me fix my FPS. I really should just automate this. Done. Actually, I'm going to. Oh, wait. Hold up. <laughs> what the fuck? 
That's why. Um. Okay. Here. Greater uh, than. I'm Ocean King. I'm going to take the driver. Got me. Uh, am I good to break up? 0.05%, uh, yeah. I guess. Hey, firm. Uh, 125 going to break up. Done. Now it should automatically do it after two minutes. <clears throat> Where's Patty? Where's that sky blue truck? Dispatch 130, 1038 eastbound El Power Freeway with a packer. <clears throat> Spot check. Hello. Hello. How are, how are we doing today? Doing okay. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. I'm Officer Rhodes of the Los Santos Police Department. And reason for the stop today is a compliance check uh, or spot check uh, just to uh, take a look at the cargo in the back. Um, okay. Make sure everything's in order. Make sure you are not in excess of a thousand kilograms of any one type of cargo all right okay okay no all problem. right anything i should be concerned about back there mm, no just uh you know no nothing just boxes no. boxes how many how many boxes you got uh i would say maybe like 20 20? 18 just about 18. Around there. okay well yeah. um good news uh if they are 50 pound box or not 50 pound but 50 kilogram boxes um, I don't think you could technically be in violation, but either way, uh, I'm going to go back there and check. You are more than welcome to exit the vehicle and head back there with me. Um, okay, how much was the limit you said? Uh, it's up to a thousand kilograms per cargo type. So you can have up to a thousand kilograms of furniture, up to a thousand kilograms of electronics okay. in total. Okay. And it doesn't matter how many, like the fucked up thing is I understand y'all's contracts are 500 kilograms minimum. Which means yeah. if you take one, any if you take anything above yeah. 500, you can't take another contract of those because otherwise you're over the limit. Oh, and gee. then that subjects you Not to a wide load you, citation, you know, which is $1,250 and Ideals four points me. on your license. Ideals me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't be doing okay. that. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's right. go check. I mean, that works oh, for God. me. Hmm. Here we are. Time to take a look. Let's see. It says electronics. Okay. Close. Uh, no, you're you're good. Um, you're good. I mean, you're sitting at twenty boxes. Uh, it's a thousand kilograms. Um. Radio but it's split between tools Can and electronics. So, Can we please make sure okay. that we're locking the oh, doors? So, the ones oh, that I we're thought the same place gave you the same thing, so they the gave you different things. Like, okay, to the staircase, you get a gas station, then, you know, locked. the other okay. senor coming from the other the gas station. So I guess they don't always give you electronics. They give you the different doors, things in the boxes. Oh, sorry, radio's going crazy right now. I apologize. It's okay. No problem, senor. Okay, there we are. Sorry. Um, what was the question? To be fair, the garage I'm just saying, locked. so each time I go to a gas station, they're not only going to give me electronics every time. It's going to be different things, I'm supposing. Uh, I, I would hope so. Listen, as long as you stay, like right now, 
you have um let's take a look you have tools and electronics right you can have up to a thousand kilograms of tools and up to a thousand kilograms of electronics but you know let's say you're sitting at 700 kilograms in total of electronics and you know one of the contracts available to you is electronics don't pick that don't do it okay. it's a setup it's a setup I see. Oh, and how to get you huh? yep and here c come off to the side of the road i'll uh i'll read the citation off to you so the citation is unlawful operation of wide load it states anyone who operates a commercial delivery vehicle in violation of the contracted and or trailer load limits Officers need no independent reasonable suspicion other than the operation of this vehicle to spot check these conditions for compliance. You don't need to break any rule of the road, essentially. It, uh, no okay, failure to signal, nothing. You can okay. just get stopped, and it is for the sole purpose of uh, checking in on the cargo, making sure everything's in order. That uh, makes sense. So, yeah. see what happens, senor oh, oh, policia. Uh, I just got promoted, so I guess uh, the manager. He didn't tell me all these things, you know? He just said, hey, go pick this stuff up. Yep. And listen, I'm I'm out here trying to inform people. I, I really am. I don't think I've issued anyone a wide load citation without me having pulled them over before, having this conversation with them and making them aware, you know? Well, it's good to know. I mean, I'm glad you told me. I don't yeah. want to get fired. You know? Listen, I, I don't want you fired either. Or losing your license. That's the important part because that, that affects your day to day. Imagine you actually... Oh, and don't be driving these things off-road. I know that sounds silly, but... That's negligent crazy. driving? There's a... It's like unsafe operation of a commercial vehicle or something. You get negligent driving, which is two points in $375 citation. And you get the unsafe operation, because it's an enhancement. So that's an additional four points. So you get six points. But then let's assume you were doing that with a wide load. You're getting ten points all in one go. Oh my god. That's, Be that's careful it. out there. Be careful. It ain't worth it. The consequences is high. And let me tell you, this company may pay good, but they're gonna throw you under the trailer at, at the Mm-hmm. I can't yeah. afford that. I got a fiance. Yeah. It takes all my money. Ooh. Well. Um, I, listen, but I wish you the best in that, okay? Uh, do you have it, do you have any uh any comments, questions, or concerns for me? I uh, know. I'm glad you, you know, told me this information so I can, you know, check every time, you know. Good. You know, Good. Sure Just I'm, remember, you know. when it comes to selecting contracts, you want to be picking cargo that you don't already have. Unless you only have 500 kilograms of another uh, piece of cargo and you have a contract for 500 to get it up to 1,000. But with the minimum being 500 kilograms for those contracts, uh, there's no other way to make it legal with two contracts. For one type okay. of cargo so just be careful out there all right okay i appreciate it senor. it's not a problem stay safe dispatch 130 latest 38 code 4108 i heard the bike Almost officially time. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a location on that. Bottles. Dispatch one two five breaking off thirty eight. Uh, could you ten nine? You need a location on what? Uh, latest nine one one. It seems to be the start of Ellis Freeway. Uh, I believe EMS may be on scene. Hey, permit. Looks like it. Uh, I believe their concern is returning the vehicle, uh, likely a test drive.
Oh, thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate you so much. I was just, right, I'm just so hurting and oh, I couldn't no. be banned. Oh no. <laughs> you know how much time you have? I've got six minutes left. Okay, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to return. Can I return it for you? Um, no, is I'm that possible? Feet, oh, okay, so all right. Oh, thank you so it's much. I just, I, I think I got a bruised, like, a bruised leg. I tried to wiggle oh. it. Is that good? Yeah, it should be Why fine. The medical if professional? you have further blue and blacks on it, then oh, you might want to check so it up much. with the I doctor's advice. Okay. As long as you don't start seeing color hey, down there, oh, oh, oh. thank you so much. Thank you so I do still much. have hey, a patient, have a okay, and you can run to the hospital. Have a great day. Day. You as good well. Night. You as well. I'm just going to sit around and make sure that it's still operational, okay? I hope it is. I would be so sad if it's not. Okay. okay. Be careful, okay? All right, dispatch 130, latest 911, code 4. If I do twenty three. Compliance check. Uh, yes, it was. I believe. Yep, Poppy. Poppy Meowster. You got some video? I'd love to code for if you want to earn a two buttons. Hey, from Tango 90, rolling 23. And now we wait. You know, maybe I don't want to be so close to that. <laughs> Just maybe. Street race incoming. Hello. Hey, how you doing, officer? I'm doing good. How are you? Hello. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Is that Rhodes? Yeah, that's me. I'm doing okay. You know, not much to complain about. Had to be good. How's mm -hmm. it uh, pretty okay. I mean, it only just recently started, but you know, I'm out here doing my job, doing some spot checks. Yeah, I'm lucky you spot checked us. I I swear you're the only one doing those spot checks, Rhodes. Good, I love it. <laughs> my favorite part of the job. It's gonna make people hate you. And you know what? All they had to do was follow the rules of the road and the law, and they'd be fine, right? The rules <laughs> that are gray as fuck. <laughs> well, you know what? But I'm not really applying it in true, in a true, in true. a careless way. If I was, true. trust me, I would get people hating me. But until I think you then, would get gunned down. Not gonna lie. What was that? I think you would get gunned down. Uh, <laughs> nah. I'm gonna be real. 
uh, those pussies are care too much about their job. Ooh, it's the only thing grime. they live I mean, it's for. It's a grime, though. It's a grime, not a G6. Oh, well, I, I, do I, a G6. I would make sure that their license gets suspended. They lose their job. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, technically, reckless evading, three points on your license, guess what? An officer could instead charge you for every red light you ran, every illegal turn you made. And guess what? Dispatch one three four. Listen, I know it's probably fucked. Boulevard. Yep, you need to talk across. You're not gonna catch him with this one. car. With this shape. <laughs> what makes you think that? Go and ask I'm Fiona. I've seen I'm cops me. drive. Okay, but I'm not just cops. Oh, you want to get in the chase right now? No, motherfucker. Listen, you're <laughs> you're gonna pull the same shit as last time. Don't play dumb. This is actually about the time. Patty what, says what did you just 2 p.m. Nikita, thank you for the 68 months. I appreciate it. 68 months. Holy shit. That is crazy. 69 big true big true we're um we're doing spot checks at the moment my gosh uh if you just got here ooh. hey for 376 do you see him see what the mos <laughs> that's kitty <laughs> we were we were um <laughs> The funniest part is we pulled Kitty and uh, Oct Octavia over and gave him the wide load citation. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Sarge, 160, 760, tow yard, welfare check. Um, so, uh, before, <laughs> okay, here's the context. I'm at Mission Row and somebody is inside the, gar the locked garage licking our car. Um, and I know full well that the garage was locked. So, I had to F8 quit to demonstrate and bug report the desynced garage doors because they just they're locked for us and open for other people and people run in um and then they waltz into mission row and then everyone assumes that it's the cops just leaving it unlocked it's it's literally not <laughs> the person happens on houses too yeah the person who was in Mission Row literally walked through a locked door. Again, to be clear, from their perspective, it was open, okay? There's no bad intent here. But, like, from our perspective, every cop literally saw them just disappear because the, the door was closed. Um, um, it does happen, but the reality is it's uh, is a pain to deal with. Because although the person uh, who was there today didn't have nefarious intent, this happens like every day. Where are, where are all of the damn truck drivers? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. It's been a while since we've talked, so I just, I wanted to give you a call because uh, well, I've been contacted by a mutual friend. I guess friend is an apt term. Um, have you been contacted by Norman recently? <coughs> no, but Richard has. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware um, that he's around. That's really mm -hmm. all, I guess. 
Um, I definitely appreciate the heads up. I didn't know, but then Richard told me that he had a conversation with him. Okay. And the only right. thing I know is uh, there there is no reinvolvement from me. I say that, but then the, I don't know. The, I don't know. Uh, no reinvolvement from me. That's that's what I'm sticking at. Okay. Okay. Understood. Well, I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. So, yeah. Appreciate the heads up. How no you worries. doing? How you holding up? I'm surviving. What about you? Uh, you know, surviving, I guess. How's PD? <laughs> Pain, suffering, oh, the okay. huge. Classic. <laughs> when isn't it? Yeah. Ah, it's true. I, I would feel bad for majority of them, but I only feel bad for a very select few of you. Yeah, I don't get me wrong. Love the job, but um, uh, I listen. I hate being a complainer. Okay, mm -hmm. but right now, like what what's happening right now, and the level of recruitment that's happening right now is something that realistically should have been done three months ago so we are <laughs> as, uh, for in in all sort of practical uh ways three months behind so yeah uh, <laughs> it, it's it's rough it's rough oh. i was around for shift two uh, a couple days ago um let me tell you the bbmc walks all over the police department they don't give a fuck about the police presence because they've walked all over the police over and over and over again so yep. um yeah that's not at all surprising it's uh -huh. not no it doesn't surprise me that pd's still making the same mistakes as they were six years ago to be honest at some point they'll realize that whoever's making the decisions like that that to not hire people in the first you know month or so uh probably doesn't know what they're doing uh yeah but agreed. that ain't gonna happen anytime soon so you know they can't see the forest from the trees that's their <laughs> problem roads um i can't say i'm surprised i'm i'm really not nah. I'm, no, I'm not i'm not i mean I, I think back many years and i go like w was there ever a time period where things were perfect no there's always going to be issues that's going to happen with any any sort of career-based job where there's hundreds of people or you at least need hundreds of people to staff across uh multiple shifts right like uh, there are going to be people who don't see eye to eye it is what it is yeah. um yeah. but in saying that there's definitely things you can do that'll make it uh easier on a lot of people um but truthfully the skeleton crew uh kind of got just ground up into bone me <laughs> I, don't, I don't know i don't know how else to, how else to word it right now but i mean it's true like we sort of got run run through the ringer we got ran through snow we got ran through yeah um and I'm in. i don't like the mayor uh, okay uh, the mayor's an iffy one the mayor is kind of like the deliverer of bad news from the state, but like not necessarily True. the the decisions being made were his, right? Like his whole campaign was, I want to make sure the PD has this, PD has that, blah, 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 blah. Um, only to find out that the state ain't providing anything to PD or EMS. Like it just, it's not happening, right? Um, mm -hmm. But when your campaign sort of revolved around that, number one, that sucks, but two, it's also out of your control. That's um, true. Yeah. So like I... I don't feel it appropriate to um, to hold that against him. And I've had my back and forth with the mayor. Um, for me, the thing I sort of take issue with is like how he has communicated some of the things. Like, for example, when the treasurer uh, erroneously gave us $300,000 to fix our incredibly broken cars. Um, he pretty much said, yeah, by the way, that's going to be paid back. And if it's not paid back in a week, it's going to be with interest. 23, 23, 23. Um, <laughs> and then said, 
So how much money do you have in your bank? And how much money do you have? And you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And then you added up everybody's bank accounts in the meeting and said, yeah, y'all can afford it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. So Why? like, uh, but at the same time, noise? how else is he going to deliver that? I mean, he could have gone without that, right? <laughs> but, but the way he delivered that is what didn't sit well with me. Um... But again, it's not necessarily the mayor. Well, actually, not true. He fu he's fucked with our pay after getting a citation from Bones. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. You guys are under that kind of scrutiny. All right. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. It... Listen, it is what it is. All right. And you want to know the crazy thing? I'm actually, I'm going to vote for him. What? Yeah. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Here's the thing. He can at least navigate what he knows now. If we have to deal with the new mayor, we're we're back at fucking square one. That's actually a great point. I didn't really think about that. Like, not I'm wrong. not trying to wait an entire month for the new mayor to figure out what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> Ain't no one got time Who's for even that running? shit. Who's I actually don't know. running as opposition? <laughs> oh, okay. uh, Lil Tugs. Uh, Mike, Michael Simone. <laughs> Michael Simone, okay. Yep. Yep. Well, Little oh. Tug's only 19, dude, so I don't know if that's going to work. No. Um, Simone, uh, what's he been like during this period? I don't really know. Um, he's. <laughs> you want the honest truth? Yeah. Uh, he is a. Um. He's kind of taken the back seat for at least I, I can only really speak on behalf of like the PD portion. He's kind of taken the back seat on everything that Max has done. Uh, I and I don't think he's disagreed with any of it. Hey, for three ten a.m. One second. Mm. One second. Hello. How you doing, Rose? Good to see you. I'm doing good. I'm going to be conducting a spot check. Oh wait. <laughs> Compliance. <laughs> well, did they fix oh, the fucking that. manifest yet? No, no, but you need to be under a thousand kilograms of any one type of cargo. So well, you I can have I a thousand am. kilograms of electronics, a thousand of tools, a thousand of furniture, well, up to a thousand. Okay, but if you so exceed people, a thousand, you uh, you carrying a wide load. I see. Fuck grime. So people are Send them to jail. Grime. Send them. Right, I'm going to hang up and up. conduct. And conduct the <laughs> good luck <laughs> all right i'm glad you're right i'll speak to you soon man be all safe. right bye. bye all right what was that sorry i was on the phone sorry i don't want to yell at you from up there no you're uh, good you're good so yeah we can't really choose what we pick up here Rhodes. um I, here's the thing i've been telling this to everybody right. the reason i'm doing this is because if i'm the only one making noise Okay, I don't get listened to. I need everybody else speaking up to the mayor to get the legislation changed. Okay, so the way it works is the first time is always going to be an informative, hey, this is your warning, but moving forward, if you're no longer in compliance, um, you good? A ratio. Yeah. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Ten four eight five three twenty six. Hello. Hey, Dizzy, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure you're good? Yeah. You you positive? <laughs> I just got a box. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you sure about that? What do you mean? Listen, I'm just saying. I was You're I was being just being really suspicious right now. I was explaining to your partner here the first time I encounter y'all. It's a very informative. Hey, you know this is how it works. However, if I find out that you are intentionally pulling cargo out, we gonna have problems. Yeah, don't don't do that. If you pull something out, put it back in. Rhodes isn't an asshole. You don't need to you don't need to treat him like one, please. This, this is the first time ride with, just so you know, Rhodes, so. Mm. Usually ride with T. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call the deputy mayor, and I'm going to complain to him and let him know to change the fucking legislation. Yes, please. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Well, I'm calling it right Give now. Give me one because... second. Dispatch 130, 1030 on a uh, packer over at the West Eclipse Del Perro Great Ocean gas station. 
All right, let's take a look here. Over. All right. Well, I hope we're not over. Uh, well, well I mean, if if y'all are, me. you know, it be what it be. Take a look. Here we are. Y'all are... Y'all are over, technically. So for context... Sorry, uh, no, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Like I said, um, I never cite people uh, on the uh, on the first sort of go around. Um, all right. So, uh, the, okay. I understand how tricky it is, but again, that is why... Uh, I'm trying to inform people because people don't actually realize how poorly written the site or the citation is for a wide load, which is a one thousand two hundred fifty dollars citation and four points under license. By the way, trust me, I know how poorly it's written because yeah. I've had this happen before. Aziz well, pulled me over, and then sat here and tried to inform me on it. and He was going to enforce it on me. And I let him know. I said the manifest it's all fucked up. I can't control that. And then you know he he took pity on me and he said no other officers are enforcing it. So I'm not going to be the first. I'm not going to, I'm not going to crack your head open. Oh, he's wrong. I enforce it, but well, I mean, it is votes. after, it's after, you know, a warning. Um, and again, the first, the first time is always a, a, Hey, this is what's going on. So the tricky part here is that number one, uh, the manifest, which you can take a look at back here. If you take a peek, yeah. uh, is going to yeah. show a thousand kilograms as a weight limit for electronics. Right. The thing is, if y'all get a new contract for, let's say furniture, that's then going to say a thousand kilograms of furniture, but it's not going to show the prior electronics. So logically, you sure about that? oh no, I'm, I'm certain. Okay. It's I'm certain. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, that was the thing part, before. So. So, 16 for that. Um, so all of your prior contracts, you know, if y'all picked up tools, ammo, uh, attachments, any of that stuff, only one type of cargo ever is displayed on that so manifest at one time, anyone see, uh, which complicates things because a, with how it's written, Technically, anything not on there would mean you're, you know, in violation of a wide load. But oh, a, application of that would be so fucked. When I say so fucked, I mean, like, insanely fucked. So, hold on, more... Reggie. I'm getting. I'm talking to Rhodes right now. He pulled me over for having a wide load. <laughs> yeah. I know something about the legislation. I need to. Uh, I need to get in contact with the deputy mayor. Have him fix this legislation <laughs> bullshit. All right, talk to you soon. I'll call you. All right, bye. Sorry. For context, I sat with the mayor and explained all this, and guess what? He said he'd bring it up at the next meeting. The next meeting happened. Nothing changed. Well, I mean... That's why I honest. need other people to all collectively yeah. complain and talk about how silly it is. Um, but I did speak with him, and he did say the appropriate application of it, despite how it's written, is, a uh, again, up to a 1,000 of any one type of cargo. You can have a thousand kilograms of furniture, a thousand kilograms of electronics, a thousand of tools, uh, but so you can't exceed a thousand. Roads. Yeah, so basically that means that a grime driver can only do one job of each. Uh, that is that is correct, yes. Okay. Uh, unless you are lucky enough to originally pick a 500 kilogram, because that's the minimum, um, yeah. and then get lucky enough to be offered a 500 kilogram uh, load of that same type of cargo. Which is probably unlikely. Uh, probably a bunch. <laughs> group six is about to be the best fucking. Everybody's going to group six. Not me, but you know everybody. You say that they drive far more recklessly, and they're they are subjected to the same unsafe operation, negligent driving shit. People are going to be copping six points at a time with that shit. Yeah, but. You know, people people love to act like the security guards. Anyways, they run around with their with their legal gun. 